let's talk about compressing vocals now. The first thing that I'll do is pull up the dynamic section. Go ahead and turn this on and select our compressor. And then we'll pull the vocal in. Now we want to wait for a loud part of the song to set our compression. I'll go ahead and set my ratio um, around three to one. And we might go a little harder on that depending on what we need. Attack is probably okay there. I'm gonna speed the release time up a little bit so we'll go a little, a little faster here. Down around 100. All right, so now we'll wait for the loud part of the song and we'll lower our threshold until we get some compression. I'm going to take my ratio a little higher. How could we be ashamed? My threshold up a little. That gives us a life away, away, away. I'm going to turn my output gain up a little bit to make up for all that compression. I'll go about 5 or 6 dB because that's on average how much we're compressing during the loud stuff. So that'll kind of make up for that compression. Yeah, how great so you want to watch during the quiet part and make sure you're not really compressing much. It's okay to have a little compression going, but if you're still compressing a lot, then you need to raise your threshold. So. I am not ashamed. I will now just to illustrate, I'll take my ratio a little higher and lower my threshold oh, to really level things out. How could we be so now we're getting a good bit of compression during the low part. And when the quiet part comes, it should be about the same that volume. Us life away, away, away. How great is so this is about the same volume as he was in the loud part. We'll turn this off. For me. Yeah. How turn back on. great is your love for me so it definitely turns that no, up so i am not ashamed and i will not be ashamed oh, we will. how could we be ashamed love That gives us so you hear that it definitely away, doesn't get as loud away, during the loud away, parts as it was before. Now, I'm probably overdoing it a little bit here just to show you how a compressor works. One thing to be careful of when compressing vocals is feedback and also background noise. If you're over compressing a vocal so that it's always compressing when the person is singing and it's compressing a good bit, 10 or 15 dB, then you run the risk of creating feedback problems because when they stop singing, all of a sudden the mic gets turned up 10 or 15 dB relative to where it was when they were singing. And this creates feedback because the mic is so much louder when they're not singing. So be careful, you can compress your way into a feedback nightmare by doing this. Now another thing to watch out for is background noise from the stage. If you have a live drum kit on stage, this is especially important. When the vocalist stops singing and the compressor stops compressing, it's almost the same as turning the volume up however much you were compressing before. Now this will turn up all the background noise from the stage. So if you have a quiet singer and you're having problems with the cymbal bleed into the mic, go easy on the compression. You want all those loud parts there anyway if you have a quiet singer.